Hello, my name is Joseph Guy. I own Get Detailed by Joseph in Port Macquarie, New South Wales, Australia, and you are watching Beneath the Surface. My name is Joseph. I am from Port Macquarie, New South Wales in Australia. I operate a business detailing cars and offering paint protection services and maintenance detailing called Get Detailed by Joseph. Uh, it started off with me as a subcontractor under my father-in-law with the parent company called Get Detailed. Um, shortly into my career, after coming out of a, a workplace injury that ended my career as a light vehicle mechanic, I was given the opportunity to still have the ability to provide for my family uh, to become a car detailer and that was in 2013 as a profession. Come 2015 I was told to create my own business name. I'd be handed the books and the equipment and I was just told just to run with it. It's been a great joy of being a car detailer because I get to work with my hands, I get to see the transformation from start to finish um, and you get thanked a lot <laughs> which really boosts the confidence. So I had been aware of IGL from back in the days when they were known as iGreen lovers so very early on in their industry introductions um, and even then I love the products. I got in the Eco Coat Wax from circa 2017. Um, customers and, and myself love the product. Um, it's on, I applied that to a very laborious R35 Skyline restoration job that I did and the finish that it gave was fantastic. Unfortunately the car is a straight line drag racing car <laughs> with something about 2000 horsepower now um, so aesthetics weren't high priority for that job in the long term but he wanted to look nice for a short time. So I've been building up my skills and confidence with the coating since October of 2022 um, and in that short amount of time, my amount of coatings has increased at least two or three times compared to the previous brand. Um, and that's purely down to the fact that I have the confidence to know that the company itself and our national distributor is there to support us. The newest one being IGL Tire. Uh, I've only used it on about two or three sets of tyres, but ease of application and overall usage and aesthetic, I'm really impressed with. Um, obviously Kenzo, great product, love how it feels, love how it improves the look of the vehicle. Um, and I've not once had anyone say they didn't love their car after it was done. Um, IGL Quartz is also a fantastic offering. I, I've done that with quite a few minor to major restoration polishing jobs where the customer loves the car or it's a classic car so uh, and they just want to be able to easily maintain it but they don't want to go the next step of going to flagship coating. Um, so Quartz has been a really good upsell for that market as well and it's a fantastic product to use. Um, but just the fact that all the information is easy to source, the technical safety data sheets, material safety data sheets, promotional materials on basic application techniques, it just becomes very easy to find that information um, and just makes it far more involved. Parrots play into my personality from when I was a toddler. Uh, my mother used to breed budgies so she used to have dozens upon dozens of budgies and there's stories of her finding me in the aviaries just 
sitting in there with the birds. Um, and then that transitioned into cockatiels and everything during my teenage years and everything. And when I became an adult with a successful regular income stream, I always wanted a parrot, a large parrot that just wasn't green. The only bird that was affordable in Australia at that time was the Eclectus parrots. So the Eclectus parrots, although they do have green in them, that's the male. The female is stereotypically red with either blue or purple plumage as well. So they're about the size of a galah, so feet to head they're about yay big. Um, stereotypical red, black beak, blue breast, wings are a darker shade of maroon and then they'll either have yellow tipped tail feathers and all that sort of stuff. Uh, known to be quite intelligent and talkative species of bird. Building up the confidence to ask for help. It doesn't hurt to ask for help. Everyone needs help. Um, and since coming to the manufacturing facility, I've realized how small and intimate and connective the, the company is and it really resonates with what I like to feel when I'm dealing with a company because I do like to generally deal directly with a company owner or someone who can give that personal attachment to the brand um, which is why I find it hard to relinquish my own presence from my business as well. I know that I do need to step away if I'm going to grow, but I like to have that personal connection with everyone that comes to see me. And I get that sense coming here that I'm valued and appreciated. For myself being new to the brand of the flagship offerings, uh, my confidence in the application process was quite low, but after several conversations and everything, I've now been able to develop a application technique that I'm able to consistently repeat, keep my usage to an acceptable average, which has therefore increased my confidence in knowing that I'm not costing myself more than what I need to and the fact that I'm actually spoken to as an individual and respected.